We travel not to escape life, but for life to not escape us. An anonymous quote really makes so much sense specifically to people who treat traveling not as an experience, but almost as a psychological need. Unfortunately, traveling is anything but cheap. And in some places, traveling expenses can nearly make an average person bankrupt from a single trip. With that in mind, here's our list of the 10 budget travel destinations as of right now. So, without further ado, let's begin. Unless you want to break records by planning a full-fledged trek up the legendary Mount Everest, Nepal can be an unrealistically affordable place to visit. But if you do feel like going all the way, you can easily opt in for massive trekking trips such as taking an 11-day hike in the Great Langtang Valley. Although it's a bit hard to navigate during the low season due to heavy rainfall, winter can be a pleasant time to visit Nepal, as temperatures stay more or less at 10 degrees Celsius in the city, resulting in a cozy, chill and relaxing environment. Alongside good weather, you'll get low-priced accommodations. However, double-check a trek's safety features and remember that booking on arrival costs less than booking in advance. Cambodia is a world-renowned destination that's surprisingly affordable to visit. You can easily hop into a local tuk-tuk vehicle and travel around. Just get a ticket to the temple and explore as much as you want since hiring a tuk-tuk for the whole day will cost you as much as a 15-minute taxi ride in NYC. Aside from the visually stunning and ethereal temples, you can get lost in the overwhelming and otherworldly beauty of Cambodia's capital, Phnom Penh, which includes breathtaking French colonial architecture. Also, affordable French bakeries will allow you to enjoy your meal at a surprisingly low price alongside a modern hotel room at the price of a shared hostel room in Europe. With that, if you can manage the time and make an appearance while affording the tourist season, incredible deals are just around the corner. With easy and unbelievably cheap maneuverability, apart from Lisbon, Portugal is relatively affordable and budget-friendly. For instance, you can visit the iconic Camillo Beach in the Algarve with an almost microscopic budget. The high season in Portugal lasts for a solid two months, making traveling any other time yielding a more beneficial and budget-friendly decision. However, if you visit Portugal in the cold season, you'll get even more discounts and enjoy a constant cool and breezy temperature that oscillates comfortably around 15 degrees Celsius. With Lisbon and Sintra being the top iconic places to visit and holding signature landmarks such as the medieval defensive building tower, the Gothic Geronimus Monastery and the Prasad de Comercio, you could go for a stroll around the surrounding shops and cafes without having it stretch your budget. In summary, a visit to Portugal is all about enjoying the local food while taking a stroll alongside the coast and taking in the beautiful environment as soul food in a very affordable package. If you have your heart set on the northern region of Europe, Denmark would be a charming choice. Although if you don't have the know-how, it's pretty easy to conclude that one might think it's more expensive compared to truly skimping out. You could start by skipping the busy summer-spring season. Between September and November, you can get up to 40% cheaper flight and accommodation prices. With that comes the matter of food, and bakeries are the way to go in Denmark. You can also treat yourself to a traditional delicacy called smorbrod, which is basically a single slice of rye bread covered with several toppings. Alongside iconic landmarks such as the Tivoli Gardens, Denmark is definitely one of the places to be when you want a sweet, somber and satisfying trip without taking a heavy toll on your travel budget. Bolivia is a marvelous choice to visit in the South American country resting right at the heart of the Andean mountain range with overwhelmingly beautiful sights to behold. Being a multi-ethnic country, Bolivia brandishes about 36 indigenous languages alongside an ecosystem that holds the iconic plains called Llanos and the polar mountains situated in the western Andes. With free-to-visit landmarks, Lake Titicaca, a handful of pre-Columbian archaeological sites, the Laguna Verde or the Salar de Uni, you'll have a great time alongside a plethora of options to choose from. And you can partake in a blissful trek in the Val de la Luna, an experience you'll be telling stories of repeatedly. With food, transport and accommodation costing a fraction of the price compared to other South American countries, we recommend you visit during the months of April and May before the high season. 
And when you consider yourself a history aficionado, you should definitely bag yourself a ticket to Egypt. While we do understand you have a ton of options when you want to experience ancient civilizations such as India, Jordan or Peru, none of them comes close to the elevating experience you'd get from witnessing the pyramids, or the Valley of the Kings, the Great Sphinx of Giza, or the 13th century BC Abu Simbel Temple. You can go a long way even when you're dramatically low on travel expenses. For the price of a movie ticket, you can get access to the ancient Abu Simbel temples, get a full-fledged guided tour from the city of Luxor to the Valley of the Kings or tantalize your taste buds by trying local hot drinks or sweets from one of Cairo's tea houses. Likewise, if you can bag a three-night cruise from Aswan to Luxor, it beats the cheapest accommodations you'd find anywhere in Egypt. And for pretty much the same affordable pricing, you'll get a place to sleep and witness the best views of the temples and monuments all while adding a chance to snorkel in the legendary Nile all-inclusive. A humble, modest and unassuming eastern country right off the beaten track, Bulgaria housed tourists from neighboring countries here to watch the Black Sea, that too for an incredibly low cost. The country remains comfortably quiet most of the year, making Bulgaria a perfect place for people looking to unwind in a calm environment. Bulgaria's main attractions won't cost you a single penny. You can dive deep into the countryside and fill your view with beautiful ancient villages that are placed under mountaintop castles which were heavily influenced by the Turk and Byzantines. However, to make the trip even cheaper, you can easily skip the summer months and take advantage of the short tourist season and enjoy the snow on a minimal budget. One simply does not talk about Indonesia without mentioning the iconic island of Bali. With the massive and extended archipelago measuring wider than the United States, Indonesia has tons more to discover in terms of views, activities, iconic landmarks and signature delicacies. You will be able to choose among 13,466 islands excluding Bali that are less expensive and have their own iconic visuals. In layman's terms, the further you go off the beaten track, the more affordable the overall situation gets. However, do try to save a little in terms of getting around the islands as vehicles and fuel costs can be your biggest worry apart from booze. While they lack a variety of food compared to other places, you'll find local food cooked on the spot with the freshest ingredients at low prices. The most financially beneficial time to visit Indonesia would be from October to April. Since prices are relatively lower during the rainy season, all while giving you pleasant weather that alternates between quick and sharp rainfall and bright sunny mornings. Being one of the countries that can either cost you a fortune or be unbelievably cheap to visit, Morocco stands out on a list with its iconic Marrakesh Bazaar. If you're new and not trained in haggling, it's fairly easy to lose a fortune, but it's almost as easy to walk away with some valuable treasures. When you want to move around, you will have access to intercity first-class train rides which won't cost you more than a metro ride in the west. You don't necessarily need to pay a single penny for any sort of guide cause it's effortless to discover everything on your own, be that the tomb of the royal Sadian or the Minara gardens of the 12th century. For food, we recommend the incredibly vivid and taste but tangling local specialties such as the kebab El Ghazal or varied forms of couscous in combination with tea or coffee from a local store. Lastly, do remember to avoid the peak season to score the lowest accommodation prices while stopping and enjoying the majestic views of the Rif Mountains at no extra cost. With the Caribbean being one of those places where making clever usage of travel bundles and all-inclusive stays can often result in cheaper budgeting, the Dominican Republic is no exception. If a destination crosses paths with Punta Cana, Puerto Plata or other iconic beach destinations, you can quickly lose a lot of money in restaurants and accommodations. This is why we recommend visiting during the summer which is considered not only to be the low season but also can be relatively cheap. Most of the activities you'll enjoy in the Dominican Republic are free of cost, including visits to the colonial architecture or the Museum of Chocolate situated at Santo Domingo. And if you happen to have your own mask, the Playa Blanca of Punta Cana is a great place to go snorkeling. So that was a list of the 10 budget travel destinations. Which one of these countries are you packing your luggage for? Do let us know as we'd love to hear from you. And as for everything else, 
Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you want more content like this on your feed.